alongside head coach Tom Church after 101-93 loss to Indiana University Northwest. First contest of the new year, coach. Overall impressions, I know you have only had a couple practices on your belt before this game gets started here, but uh, in, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't count as a D- D2 loss, uh, but you know it, it does hurt uh, that uh, your team didn't perform well. So your overall impression for tonight? I mean, I give all the credit to IU Northwest. Boy, they played hard um, and they played tough, and they just really wanted it more than we do. We did, you know, and it's sad because you know any chance that we get a, uh, to play at home, um, you know, we want to put we want to put a, our best foot forward. And for some reason, we just we got some guys that weren't ready to play tonight. And um, but like I said, all the credit goes to IU Northwest. Uh, a little different starting lineup than we've normally been accustomed to seeing at times. Anyway, uh, Nick Williams comes off the bench, gives you 16 or 17 points and eight rebounds. What about his effort tonight? Yeah, he was really really good, and and um, you know he feels comfortable coming off the bench and plays as many minutes as our starters. So it's not really about that with us. But you know I think it's a comfortability factor with him. And and um, but yeah, he, you know he was good tonight. We had a couple guys that I thought played played really well and then um, you know we had some other guys that just didn't uh, didn't perform well tonight going down the stretch uh, you went big you went really big any other reason because they were in foul trouble and their small players were getting in trouble yeah I mean we just didn't you know we couldn't get an offensive rebound you know so we put some guys in there that we felt might be able to get one Um, we just couldn't get over the hump we had it to two multiple times um, couldn't get that clutch shot couldn't get that clutch rebound 50 50 balls we didn't get um, and I just think that goes back to some toughness and some effort as we move forward now we got uh, a full GLVC sl- uh, slate coming up I think 16 games yeah. um, looking ahead uh, for the second half of the season so what did you get out of this game or what do you know more about your team heading into those contests we definitely know what we need to work on you know what I mean rebounding is going to be a big thing and um, finding pushing some guys' buttons to find them to, to raise the level of their game um, you know and, and like you said doesn't get any easier now I mean we're going on the road for two to St. Louis so you know we'll be ready to play we got to get back after it tomorrow Can't can't feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, Notice right away you have a new player, Luis Bercera, yeah. comes in and he plays a lot of the minutes down the stretch there after after yeah. just kind of easing him in there. What about his effort is and how much has he adapted to the new style? Yeah, he played really well tonight, and, and that's the thing. I mean, we just kind of went by feel. We went some guys that we felt were playing well and that were going to give us the best chance to win tonight, and it happened to be him. You know, so he's been he's been here since the break and uh, he's been practicing with us, and I thought he played really well. Gives us some size on the wing, plays extremely hard. He's got some toughness. So those are all things that we're looking for to add to this team. Coach, we appreciate your time. This is this edition of the Puma Presser.